guess. Live. So hopefully everybody can get into this live stream that's now going. There we go. Some people jumping in here. Sorry about that, guys. I'm not sure I'm an idiot when it comes to this kind of stuff. So got a whole bunch of knives here. So right on. How's it going tonight? Hey, Zach, what's up? Triple E, how's it going? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Peter, how you doing? I am back. I, sorry, guys, I'm an idiot and don't know how to work this equipment. I had my, my webcam saved in the settings, but it didn't uh, default to that. I, I, I don't know what's going on with that. Anyway, so these are the knives that... Uh, I'm going to be selling here tonight if anyone's interested. Uh, I just, my wife and I were sitting here on a Saturday night and we went out for dinner tonight. And I took of, him on a hot date. <laughs> yeah, we went We went out on a date tonight. It was the weirdest date ever, too. We had the weirdest server ever. Yeah, it was. Hi, guys, by yeah, the way. Yeah, so my wife's here with me. Um, but we had a, uh, a crazy, crazy-ass server went to Texas Roadhouse and uh, this guy comes up to the table and literally was talking like a, like a freaking morning. robot. Like, had, well, it was yeah. like a, a cross between a robot voice and a, uh, uh, a morning uh, DJ. Like, I, I don't know. It was really strange and really ridiculous and really uncomfortable. And he kept switching between that voice and talking like a normal human being. Yeah, it was really crazy. <laughs> so we were certain that we were going to like be murdered tonight <laughs> or something. Like he was going to follow us out. It was real weird. He ended it extra weird. Yeah, so we got quite a few people in here. Lion knives and Big Sean twenty four seven. Steve Kluver, Manny Z, Namaste, Dreadlock. Awesome. So uh, we're just going to run, start running through some knives. Um, just all the bros. And we can, uh, yeah, and, and I mean, you you guys want to hang around and talk some some knives or whatever afterwards. That's cool. We can do that too. I uh, gave like a standard tip. Yeah, I didn't. I thought about it. <laughs> yeah, we we did we did think about actually like putting negative five dollars on there because having to deal. with guy but it was fucking stressful <laughs> it was it was weird it really was strange for sure so here's the deal guys so for the knife sale um uh, all the knives will be free shipping uh i will ship internationally if there is any of that uh it, i just want to talk about it first figure out where the person is and what's going on there so i'm not just guaranteeing that it's free shipping internationally but but i don't have a problem doing it if as long as the buyer is okay with that um but I will throw in a few of my stickers, and I do have some Collector Club uh, Spider Co's on this uh, sale here. And so if you buy any of those, you're going to get a card that looks like this. If you guys are not familiar, uh, it's a certificate of ownership for the Collector Club models. And uh, it'll say, you know, the actual knife. This happens to be for a Tenacious Lightweight Plain Edge. But my Collector Club number is 16. And it'll say when the knife was produced and that sort of thing. So, that jump. so uh, yes, backpack. We are selling knives over here. We are selling knives. That is correct. Pull it out. So, and Guam. And, I don't see why not Guam. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, I don't have a problem shipping international uh, as long as the seller uh, understands the responsibility <laughs> there, and we talk about it first. Um, yeah. So it may or may not be free shipping international. Um, I have shipped knives internationally before without any incidents. However, um, my man BJ Hill just had some issues shipping some knives. So that makes me a little bit nervous and he didn't even ship them internationally. So yeah, I imagine like Guam is not going to be. Yeah. Guam won't be an issue. I'm not, I'm not worried about yeah. that. So, so anyway, uh, we'll get into some knives here. 
Um, Robert Reyes wants a front flipper, and Taz wants an automatic knife. Don't know if any of those are in the. Um, well, we're just going to run through them, and and you guys will see what's in here. These two are not in the knife sale. Those were just some eye candy. All right, guys. Just so a little tease. <laughs> for you guys that are in here on the live chat, my wife Molly is watching the live chat. So if you see something and you say, I want it, she's going to be keeping notes. Uh, but for those that are uh, watching a rerun of this, if there are some of these knives left over after this is all said and done, you can email me at this email address right here. And then this is <laughs> not my PayPal info. So do not send money to that email. Uh, and yeah, and then we'll correspond that way. Pretty self-explanatory, free shipping. I'll Hi, throw Steve. in, I'll throw in a few stickers and, uh, yeah, we're going to go from there. Um, Triple E wants to know if, uh, Spiderco also made you get in a tattoo of Eric Glesser in order to join the collector's club. Yes. Yes. I, I have that on my left buttocks. He wanted to make sure he didn't get duped. No, no, I've got I've got Sal on the right and Eric on the left, buttocks. So, yeah. So anyway, so we're just gonna start running down the list. So first things first, I got a giant mouse. Ace uh, comes with all the all the knives are gonna come with the box. Uh, sorry about the dog barking, but hopefully that'll get handled. Um, all the knives are gonna come with the packaging. All these have not been carried. Um, uh, most of them have been on film, but that's about it. So this is the Giant Mouse Ace Clyde. It's rocking LMAX. For those that don't know, this is 100% factory fresh, other than just being uh, just being handled on camera. So, I'm going to go beat a puppy. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, guys, uh, the Giant Mouse Ace Clyde is, uh, I'm selling it for 130 bucks. Uh, with free shipping. So, if anybody's interested in the Clyde. Uh, I'm just going down the list on the way we wrote these down here. So, the next knife that I got here is the Spyderco Able Reels. This is the uh, Native 5. And... For anybody that hasn't seen one of these, they're absolutely gorgeous. It's a hand-done anodizing process. This And the lighting does it no justice um, in person. These things are absolutely gorgeous. They are, however, very expensive. So these things sell for $4.95, and you can only purchase them at uh, Able Reels dealers. Um, you can see here this is the Spyderco Collector Club. Uh, so it's going to be version number 16. It's got the Able logo and it's LC200N, LC200N back, uh, uh, back lock. So it's completely corrosion resistant. And of course it's got the LC200N on this side. Yes, it can swim. Brand new. <laughs> yeah. And it can catch fish also. Um, and, uh, Anyway, I'm selling this for $395. So that's a hundred bucks off of the retail price. And like I said, it's an absolutely gorgeous knife. And this one is the rainbow trout for anyone that uh, was wondering. And, and it yes. comes with the card packaging, all the stuff. Will it debone? Uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> if you're talented. Yep. So we got another spider code. This one is not a collector club version. Hi, um, BJ. But this here is spider code native chief. This is just a stock standard native chief uh, in S30V. And I am selling this one for one. It's brand new. It's never been, never been used uh, in the box. Mm. Free shipping. All right. Now we've got. All the tenacious, uh, <laughs> the tenaciouses or the tenacious. I would say tenacious. Tenacious. Yeah, yeah, All right. So. so we've got these are the three brand new tenacious lightweight versions. So all three of these I'm selling. Uh, not a huge uh, tenacious guy. So unless it's tenacious D, mm. but we've got the partially serrated. <laughs> oh. 
back when Tenacious D was actually funny, I, I guess. But anyway. Right. I almost uh, started singing a song, but I don't want to know. Yeah. So we got partially serrated, fully serrated, and plain edge. Uh, all three of these are collector club versions, so they all have the number 16 on them. And these are rocking 8CR uh, 13. I really wish that they would have put the wire pocket clip on these, especially since these are lightweight versions. But anyway, they're still cool knives. Uh, and each one of these is $45. So they sell for, I think, $45.55 or $45.95 or something like that from the dealers. And like I said, free shipping, uh, 45 bucks for each one of these. So if anybody is interested in any of these, let us know. Yes. Tenacious D was funny back in the day. Just FYI, you need to do a little old school research. What was that album I don't know. name? I don't remember. I Triple think it was just e. called Tenacious D. You said one was Tenacious D funny. Yeah, they were funny. I promise. Uh, there, they there was funny. a there was a time that they were kind of funny. Mm -hmm. But then they came out with a movie or something, and it was just retarded. Yeah, that's where it went. That's, yeah, I don't remember, but it's been too long ago. But I do remember laughing. So, all right, those were the Tanisha. Uh, we got a two son. TS-160. This is a titanium slip joint. It's a weird one. Did this, you do the Tenacious, or the, the Chief yet? Yes. An idea uh, they sell for like 165 or 170 but to buy it new. And the, like I said, every knife that I'm showing here tonight is brand new other than being out of box and just being handled. None of them have been carried. Um, yeah, so none of them have been sharpened or anything like that. Yeah. So uh, this here is uh, the Tucson TS160. This is a uh, Wong design, and it is sporting M390. Hi, Chad. Uh, titanium. And it's got this little guy up here. If nobody saw my review on this thing, it's it's quite interesting the way it uh, way it works. So it's kind of like a locking knife and then it ends up being kind of like a thumb ramp for as weird as it looks. It, it actually is, is very nice in hand. It's crazy thin behind the edge. And mm. um, I don't have a measuring device handy, but I think it's somewhere uh, like a two and three quarter inch blade. Uh, so yeah, cool knife. Measure it yourself. <laughs> yeah. I don't, yeah, let me grab a measuring Take device measure over there. But... Be a good dog. So, yeah, seven inch, seven inch knife, and yeah, three inch blade, four inch handle, kind of a standard EDC. Does have a pocket clip. Interesting little knife. So anyway, uh, this one, uh, if anyone interested, uh, selling it for. Oh, I got to turn the page here. $75 with free shipping and a couple stickers. So, you know, can't beat that deal. Uh, Benchmade Super Freak. Uh, this is the 560-1, or fi I'm sorry, 560-BK-1. So <laughs> this is the M4 version with the uh, black and gray G10. This is... 100% stock standard, totally unused, bench made super freak. And this one um, I'm selling for 175 with uh, free shipping. We see you, DLBY. Hey, David, what's up? Unless you're not outside our window, are you? You fucking <laughs> griever. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. So the next <laughs> knife is a knock knives. Uh, and this thing is, it's called a DG04. And then it's called a Hung Tang Ding Dong. <laughs> 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 so 
So, oh, you're so good at that. Yeah, I'm not sure those that want to see. Maybe, hello. Maybe someone can. Well, if I can get it to there, we go. It says Chinese on it. Yeah, it's got Chinese writing on it. I'm not sure. I'm not. <gasps> right. That's why oh. Mo was barking. He says that's why Mo was barking. Oh, he he's because outside. he's outside. That's funny. <laughs> So oh, yeah, right. It is the server from Texas Roadhouse. So here is the knock knives DG05 or 04. I'm sorry. Uh orange with the carbon fiber overlay. It's a big ass knife. What's what name again? Triple E. Let's probably do this this way. So this thing is like nine and five eighths overall so it's a big ass big ass pocket knife and definitely oh can you repronounce the uh chinese again please oh uh ding dong dick <laughs> it's not yeah, completely I, I, different <laughs> yeah say, say it five times fast. <laughs> yeah i can't do that so uh it's a one and done situation but How's anyway, again, <laughs> knock knives DG04. <laughs> David said funny. he said dong. <laughs> <laughs> I did say dong. <laughs> oh, what are we, 12 year olds? <laughs> Big Sean 24 7. You've never seen the super freak, only the freak? Huh. Well. Now you have. I'm going to call him Big Shug instead. B Big Shug. <laughs> what up, Big Shug? All right. So we have this one here is another uh, Spider Co., another Collector Club knife. And I do not remember. This was a dealer exclusive. I don't remember what dealer it was, but this was a black FRN. And it's blue inside. And this thing is actually, I think blade steel's on this side. Yeah. This thing is uh, S90B. So, Delica black and blue handle, S90V. Pretty cool knife. Again, comes with the collector club stuff and some stickers. So, that Delica. Uh, is a hundred bucks S ninety V, and we got another collector club model right here. This is the Endura in navy blue FRN and Damascus blade. This is another pretty good sized knife. Just give you an idea. So it's. Yeah, it's eight and three quarter overall. And uh, again, I don't remember who uh, the exclusive was. I know this was a dealer exclusive. I just don't remember which dealer. Uh, this was Knife Joy exclusive. Uh, and I think for like 100 or 110 or something like that. I'm selling it for 90 bucks, free shipping. So if anyone's interested in that. And then we've got the Spider Co. Insistent. This is one of their new models. Uh, this one happens to be partially serrated. Again, this is a collector club version. So this is, uh, if I remember right, yeah, their 8CR. I insistent you buy it. <laughs> so this little guy right here is 35 bucks. The insistent uh, partially serrated that I can't. Yeah. So, ooh, wow. This thing's Why tiny. Throw things. It's too small and everything's rounded and yeah. It doesn't work for big hands. So there we go. And then... That one I already showed. And then we got this knife right here. 
Oh, yeah. Did I say? I guess the insistent was 35 bucks. if I didn't say. Yeah, yeah. Um, so then we got a QSP knife. And <laughs> this knife here uh, comes with the packaging and the cloth. Also comes with that card right there. Uh, gives you all the dimensions and what have you of the knife. Better knife, better life, she says. That's right. And the pouch, and it comes, they actually call this, uh, they don't call it my card. I can't remember what they call it. The S90V Delica was 110. 100. Oh, 100. Um, so this, uh, this Pelican here, oh, they call it laminated flax, but it looks like burlap micarta. Now, this particular knife, uh, this one's rocking S35VN blade steel. And I don't remember right off the top of my head, uh, but I'm going to try and get zoomed in on it. If you can see right up there, there you go. Hopefully, mm -hmm. you can see those two little divots. This one I sent out to Kurt to have it tested. Uh, and I didn't look up what the HRC numbers were on this knife uh, prior to me getting them out for this sale, but I will include that. Um, and I'll, I'll put it in the, the list. It did, it tested pretty well. I, I know it was good. I just can't remember what it tested off the top of my head. Uh, but it is riding on ceramic bearings. Uh, it's a cool worn cliff, uh, you know, micarta and other than the two divots, uh, from being tested, uh, it's brand new. It's got a, uh, uh, anodized titanium pocket clip. It's a cool knife and comes with cloth and the pouch and all the stuff. Uh, price on this guy, where's that? They're a hundred bucks. So I think they sold for like 125 or something. I can't remember exactly what, but 125 or 130 or something like that. So anyway, so those are the knives that I'm selling. If anyone has any questions or would like to see any of them again or whatever, I can certainly do that. Blade banter says flex my card in. Oh. Yeah, Zach, I'm sure the the uh, the uh, red thumb stud in the in the freak looks fantastic. The freak's just a good looking knife all the way around anyway. Backpack um, wants to see the Endura. The Endura. Look at that. There's that one right there. Yes, the the freak is certainly one of the one of the better better looking knives, I think. So I don't know if there's a certain part of the Endura that you would like to see, but this one's never been carried. It is brand new in box. We have a request to say the list out loud again. So do you want me to or you want uh, to? I'll, I'll do it here. So no, they there all you want your two sons, Dad. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they do. Yeah, I was uh, told right before we started here that uh, this uh, Tucson 186, TS 186 Kingfisher was already sold out, um, which is too bad because it's really, really sweet. <laughs> <laughs> you guys um, can just look first. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll set it out there. You guys can check it out. It's nice. <laughs> it's so nice. Uh, uh, the two S or the, the TS one twenty nine is also a really sweet front flipper, which I have it right at the moment. Um, it's out on loan. Um, but, uh, but yeah, cool knives for sure. <laughs> so, all right. The list of knives here that I've got is the giant mouse ACE Clyde in L max, uh, for 130 bucks. All these, again, include free shipping, and I'll throw in a couple stickers. Uh, the uh, Native 5 Able Reels, the Rainbow Trout is uh, this guy here. Uh, three, That one's 395 
The uh, Spider Co. Native Chief is 140. The Tenacious Lightweight Fully Serrated is $45. The Tenacious Lightweight Partially Serrated is $45. The Tenacious Lightweight Plain Edge is $45. The Tucson TS160 in titanium and M390 is $75. The Super Freak or Freak 560BK-1 without the red thumb stud. But if you want a red thumb stud, I don't know why that thing's lights just washing that out. Anyway, uh, if you want the red thumb stud, hit up Zach. Zach's got, he's your, your Benchmade connection. Uh, so that one I'm selling for $175. Uh, the uh, Knock NOC. Are zing, you, zang, uh, ding, are dang. you not a knock? <laughs> yeah. Uh, 50 bucks on this guy. Uh, and those things sell, I, they're like 65 or $70 or something like that. Uh, the QSP Pelican, $100. The uh, S90V Delica, uh, $100. Bucks. The Endura in Damascus, that guy right there, is $90. And the Insistent, the little bean-looking Spyderco, is $35. So, Everybody wants you to sell your Shaman? Oh, that one's already gone. Sorry, guys. It's it's not gone. It's here, um, but it's already sold. So that guy would probably be pretty. Actually, actually if you guys want to yell at him, it's Gerald at Outpost 76. That's who bought that <laughs> knife. So if you want to yell at anybody, you can yell at him. But, uh, yeah, does anybody want to see anything else? Did anybody, what do you guys think of this? Uh, Tucson knife, this budget knife that I showed earlier today. Are you guys digging that? No, they hate it. hated it. No, nobody's anything yet. <laughs> I'm just dick. So I was super pumped with the when I saw this that Tucson changed up the pocket clips. That was really the area that they were really struggling, especially on their budget models the pocket clips were just uh, just terrible, really. I mean, I'm, there's nothing else to say. They were not good. Um, <laughs> and now that they went to this, uh, you know, fold over metal style, it's just so much nicer. And this knife is just absolutely perfect. Um, David wants to know if the scales are as aggressive as the other G10 Tucson. No, they're not. Uh, they're rounded off. Um, if you can see those, I mean, there's certainly there's like humps in them, but they're not pointy. So they're really, it's, it's actually really smooth. Um, it feels really good. Yeah. It feels really nice in hand. Uh, and I know they're like all hand sizes. <clears throat> yeah. This one right here is what David's talking about, which is actually, so this is old, uh, uh, budget Tucson. And this is new budget Tucson. And you can see the pocket clip difference here. So you have the fold over deep carry pocket clip on the new model. Way, way <laughs> nicer. Uh, but this, this right here, and this is a nice knife and a great budget knife. This is D2. Uh, but this, these ridges that are milled into this G10, they're, they're sharp. They're like pointed at the top. If you can see those. Uh, no front flippers, right? It's still comfortable. No front flippers. Um, oh, for sale? Mm -hmm. uh, no. Yeah. Not, not that I can think of. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I have seen people front flip the, the giant mouse Clyde, but um, I didn't carry it enough to get good with doing that. And yeah. Not this. Uh, I do have a few front flippers, but um, actually most of them are out. Uh, I loaned them to people right at the moment. This is really about the only one that I have here right at the moment. 
for front flippers. Um, I shouldn't say that. I also have the McKenna. Um, yeah, I guess who who keeps asking about front flippers? Mm, well, Dreadlock Dad, five twenty, and uh, somebody else. Oh, you're yeah. damn designed Oni. Yeah, that's a cool little knife. I I haven't handled one of those, but I've I've seen them. Uh, certainly looks pretty cool. Who is the guest talking with you, and what is their grail knife? Are you talking about me, Eric? Eric from Texas. Um, the guest speaking with me is my wife, and her name is Molly. And her grail knife, uh, I'll let her talk about that. I don't have a grail knife. <laughs> I am like, yeah, knives are handy, but I'm the comedic relief. <laughs> oh, boy, well, here we go. It's getting deep. Oh. So earlier today, guys, so for those of you that have been around on these lives before and we've talked about <laughs> my wife's name and... Super and Sissy Steve's here. He is. He said it's his pimp. She carries a Bali. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. It's a pig sticker. <laughs> Actually, hold on a minute. I, I've, I've got what she carries. Named I, after a dog, you motherfucker. And speak of the devil. Yeah. Sure. I was... Cruising through Facebook earlier, got a freaking ad for Chewy, you know, the pet supply store. And there was this is what my pimp carries, right? Yeah. Here. <laughs> and there was a freaking dog name tag with the name Molly engraved on it. And I was like, you motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, for the for the advertisement. So Eric. Uh, I do have a front flipper here that I would be willing to sell if you wanted it. Um, and it is this guy right here. Uh, and this is a Tucson knife. Um, it's one that I did uh, the Anno finish on. So if you're really hard up for a front front flipper, I would sell this and I'd sell it cheap. It's not, this is not an expensive knife. It's D2 titanium. Um, uh, it's wearing that. Anno finish if you dig that and you want that. Uh, then tight, buy her up. <laughs> we can make a deal on that if that's something you're interested in. I just basically used it just to play around with the Anno. Um, but uh, this is a left handed uh, frame lock. So, you know, as it applies to front flipping, it doesn't really change anything, I suppose. Quick question What yes. was the steel on the QSP? S35VN. There you go, Taz. Sorry, that took a minute. Oh, Steve told him. Oh. Thanks, Steve. Yeah. Well, so Grail is like, um, I took that as like a knife I really want. Yes. Okay, yeah, no, I don't have that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, she's not into knives like that, guys. So... I see Thanks, it. Scott. I want it. I like uh, it. I got it. <laughs> you would like the left lock flipper because. <laughs> oh, so you need a left handed knife? Knife? Um, I thought all the lefties died after World War II. <laughs> <laughs> hey, God created a few perfect people in this world, and the rest are right handed. Don't let him spew that bullshit. <laughs> It's just the truth. It's just the truth. Left-handed people make up like less than 10% of the population, but yet more than half of you have been left-handed. Those are impressive. So why the fuck Those are, are you president? I, b b because I don't want to be. No. Who wants to put up with that bull? Just saying we're smarter. Yeah, you've lost enough hair. Yeah. <clears throat> What's your preferred opening method and preferred blade profile? Miss Mr. Mazwan Mokhtar's in the house, people. This is his. This is the designer of this knife. Oh, hey. Yeah. I really like that carb fiber BT dubs. Yeah. Mazwan, uh, I, I, honestly, I'm digging this right here. Um, I got this uh, the other day, and the geometry on this front flipper is absolutely gorgeous. It's done perfectly, and I really dig that. I love the crown spine. <laughs> What fucking super steel kills me? Average sissy Steve. 
Yeah. Yeah. He said Hugh Hafner was a righty. Mic drop. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <clears throat> so, uh, Mazwan, uh, I think you're killing it, man. This is <laughs> this is a great knife right here, and uh, you did a killer job, man. I really dig it for sure. Briella, it's awesome. Why why are we talking about that? I don't know what we're talking about. You probably don't want to know. Oh, hand what? <laughs> so sorry, it just got. Oh, I don't. Uh, okay. Yeah, there's a list. Larry. Yeah. Um, we'll, uh, once this video uh, posts, um, I'll go in there and, and put the list up of the knives that are for sale uh, in the uh, description. So you guys can. Yeah. Steve hit up Mazwan. Yeah. Uh, Mazwan, if you uh, didn't know already your knife, uh, I put the video up earlier today. Not to, not that I had anything to do with it, but apparently it's already sold out. And no one can find it anywhere. So I've already had several people hit me up asking me uh, where else they could get this knife. And yeah, so the you're going to have to get on Tucson and get making some more of those. So... Oh, you have a request to do a video on all left-handed knives and those that have left-handed locks. Left-handed locks. So keep that in mind. All right. Larry wants that flip front flipper bad. Yeah, and I'm guessing he's talking about this Kingfisher, which that one that that's the one that's not for sale. There's a few of Sorry these that are not for sale, it. and it and it's these three right here. Sorry. Maybe we should just take those off the screen. <laughs> we can put stuff that's that is for sale on the screen. So I will sell this if someone's interested. Um, and if someone wants this uh, TS sixteen, and I also have the uh, hi Bunzo, the mini Archbishop. If someone's interested in that knife, um, I however did modify this knife. Uh, you can't really tell by looking at it. Um, but I added texture uh, to the carbon fiber. So instead of this carbon fiber being slick and sliding out of your hands, uh, now is has gription. Um, it didn't change the look of the carbon fiber at all. So it still looks exactly as it did when it was new. It's just, and I don't know if you can hear this. Instead of it being ASMR, yeah, ASMR. Uh, instead of it being polished and glassy smooth, um, it now has a very fine texture, uh, so it doesn't uh, slip out of your hands. Um, you sold the dodo, right? I did sell the dodo. Mm. How yeah. much for the mini archbishop? Uh, I don't. I don't know. I. 85 bucks. Someone wants the mini archbishop. I'll sell it for $85. How much for the lefty Tucson? The lefty Tucson. Um, I honestly don't know what the a kidney <laughs> kidney. There you go. Um, Sissy's full I'm, of it. <laughs> I'm going to say uh, 60 bucks. More than anything, just because I got a shitload of hours in polishing this thing. <laughs> and if you want to see what it looks like in person, go check out my Instagram because I did a little video a few days back with this knife in the sunlight. Um, it looks way better in person than it does on camera just because of the lighting. But you can get an idea of what that looks like on it. But yeah, it looks way better. So, person. so. I'd sell it for 60 bucks if someone wants it. And that's honestly, that's what people charge just to do this anno finish. So, you know, and this one is, this is, uh, I don't remember the model number on this one. This is a Tucson. Um, it's D2. It's a great uh, uh, finger flicking blade with the triangle opening hole there. And it is a, Sebastian Irwin design or Arwan or something. Uh, 
So yeah, I'm not real familiar with that designer, but it's a good front flipper. And like I said, it's a, uh, it's a good spidey flicking knife as well. Pretty cool knife. Pocket clip works well. So yeah. Mm, I want, uh, Bunzo asks, I want to make some custom wood scales for a knife. Do you know of any skill that would be easy to replicate? Uh, yeah, something like this, like the mini archbishop or the uh, mass drop gent. Uh, that would be another one or like the TRM knives. Anything that has, you know, their flat scales that are not contoured is going to be much easier to deal with. Uh, yeah, so just in, any sort of liner lock that scales is really what you're going to want and something that you know, the liners are not inset into the scales. I mean, I don't know what you have for equipment and what you've got to, to at your disposal to make these scales, but this would be the easiest thing to make is something like this. Uh, and like I said, the, the Wii uh, Mass Drop Gent. What? A dildo? Okay, no. Um, Larry, is that, do you want to buy one of those? Just to be clear, and um, then Zachary asks, Can you name one NBA pl player for me? One NBA player, mm -hmm. LeBron James. You know, I love LeBron, but he don't play no defense. He don't play no defense. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm not big into basketball, but I certainly could name a few players, I guess. I don't know. What's the bottom two sun going for? The bottom two sun. This one right here. Nunya. The the <laughs> TS16. Um, I don't know. They're like 35 bucks, 40 bucks, something like that. Let's say 40 bucks. So, and then I'll pay to ship it. It's one that I don't ever use. It's like brand new. I don't know. David, uh, you have this knife. What do they sell for? I don't even know. So someone wants it. I'll throw in a couple stickers and pay the shipping on it. <clears throat> yeah, he paid $39.95. Oh, okay. So I'll sell it for $35. Bucks. How about that? With stickers with, and shipping. With, with stickers and shipping. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, there's more. <laughs> yeah, exactly. For a separate fee, you could also get. I will throw in the stickers and it will be lovely. <laughs> Did Mazwan design the Tucson TS-129? No, that was the Tepe design. Or, whoa, wait a minute. No, no, that was the 128 Dynamo. Uh, 129. I don't know, Mazwan? <laughs> yeah, if, if Mazwan's still around, uh, he said he was working on a button lock with Tucson, not assisted. That's awesome. Um, the left-handed banana peeler. Hell yeah. <laughs> uh yeah, hopefully Mazwan's still in the house and he can answer these questions. Justin uh, Stegivi. What is that? Okay, let us know, Larry. No worries. So that's also did a review on it. Yeah. Did you guys do anything exciting today? Or are you doing anything exciting? Ah, Steve Kluver tomorrow for the uh, Super Bowls. Is anybody actually rooting for anybody? Or does anybody care about that game? Justin is a left-handed banana peeler. That's true. So here's another one of Mazwan's designs right here. That's a, a pretty cool one. And I honestly do not remember the model number on that one right off the top of my head. And then I also have got the chief. This one has some, some custom anno work done on it. <laughs> and then this is another uh, front flipper Moz one design. And this one here is the uh, TS 136 uh, Stingray. And they actually made this in a few different versions. I had the D2 version a while back. 
And then uh, I'm just cleaning the blade off here, but this one happens to be an M390. Yeah, I'm going for the Chiefs too. I definitely will never go for the 49ers. So once Taz wants you to turn the lights down and unbox stuff slowly. Slowly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nice. Uh, Bunzo needs a front flipper, but only has 25 bucks. Any recommendations? $25 front flipper. Um, Go to the dollar store. See boy, <laughs> I, I honestly don't know. I, I don't know of any front flippers. Um, oh, Chad lives in KC. Hmm. Chad does? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> I was thinking that you lived in Minnesota, Chad. Steve said you got to save more money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. God, you're brutally honest. I can't say I'm not, but. Yeah, no, that's, I mean, honestly, Bunzo, I, I can't think of any front flippers that are that are cheap right off the top of my head. I mean, you got yeah. like the, the McKenna, but you know, you're spending like 65 or 70 bucks on that thing. Um, Hey, Mazwan's back in the building. So yeah, you like that, the Anno on that. And this is the M390 version that has the, the upgraded backspacer and the shred carbon fiber. Really cool knife. Oop, I'm screwing it up here. So, some cool, some cool Mazwan designs here, and the brand new one. What does that last Mazwan front flipper go for? Purple pocket clip right in the front. Uh, these things sell for, I think they're around 150 bucks in the M390. Uh, yeah, somewhere in that neighborhood. Um, it's the TS-136 Stingray, and you can see it's 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 a really well-made knife. I really dig how the, the backspacer has got that channel cut in it. You can see how the blade lines up there. You can see the, the channel goes all the way down. Internal lock bar relief cut, which is, as you can see, Mazwan does that on all of his knives, which is awesome because when you have an external lock bar relief cut, like on this guy, when you're putting it in the pocket, your pocket hangs up on that. So I love the internal relief cuts, which is really cool. And uh, yeah, to me, it just makes the knife more aesthetically Favorite self-defense knife? A gun. <laughs> yeah, a gun. For sure. Oh, hey. Super Steel Steve knows. He said a gun, too. <clears throat> yeah. So. A gun and a dog. Yeah, I, I'm assuming the 6% lockup, you're talking about this one right here. And... It's kind of hard to see. It's actually more than that, but because it's got an insert. Uh, but, but yeah, I know what you mean. It's pretty early lockup for sure. I'm not trying to get close to this somebody attacking knife, me. <laughs> but uh, these these two are not mine. I don't own those two. Um, so, is this a sheep's foot? Uh, no. Okay, somebody said it's a little like, kind of cleaver. That's what. Uh, somebody referenced um, one of the knives that Mazwan designed and said I was confused because I didn't really see. Yeah. No, it's like a, there. like a front flipping cleaver. Mm -hmm. But definitely. I like that blade. I'm never really big into the cleavers, but I really like that one. Yeah, definitely. Uh, definitely a cool knife. And the fact that it's a front flipper. And the geometry on it is really good. Um, just, I'm just being honest here. So, um, as far as I there know, the 136 Stingray came first, at least with two sun designs. Uh, and it came out in, in D2. And the, the backspacer, the way you can tell by looking at a D2 one real quick is the backspacer uh, only comes up to about here. So, it doesn't have any of this up, up here. And you could you could actually cut yourself on that blade. So, and it doesn't have shred carbon fiber. It's got just standard carbon fiber. What's the name of that one? 
I, I don't remember. Don't All remember, Charles. Head. Sorry. Uh, but uh, geometry is better on the 186 and this knife right here. They're just better front flippers. They're easier to manipulate. Uh, this one works well, but it's just not quite as good. Uh, but some front flippers are not very good. Um, all the ones that I have sitting here at the moment are pretty good. Um, and the McKenna is a really good one. But uh, some front flippers are just really hard to manipulate. So, you know, when they're done well, they're, they're nice to use. But if they're done wrong, they suck real bad because <laughs> they're a bitch to open. The smoke is nice. Yes, the smoke is a really good one, too. Yes, absolutely. I'm going to sneeze. That's a, that's a KC boy. That <coughs> Excuse me. Pardon. May the Lord have mercy on my soul. <laughs> yeah. Um, if yeah. someone could look it up real quick, what, what the uh, model number is on this one. I just don't remember. Yeah. Mazwan's still in here. All of our devices are... Yeah, we're preoccupied. All, we're tied up with this stuff. King cleavers. Um, yeah, yeah, I can do that. Um, I've got some cool <laughs> ones, a couple cool ones. Especially when you have bean sausage fingers. I they're bigger than Jimmy Dean's. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and, and they're not like short, stubby, fat fingers. They're they're uh normal they're, length. Fat yeah, they're, fingers. yeah, they're like, they're, yeah, they're normal <laughs> length fat fingers. They're, they're they're just like meat hooks. The cleaver is TS one thirty seven. One thirty seven stargazer. Thank that's right. You Mazwan. I I should have known that. Sorry, Mazwan. My he's failed you. <laughs> yes, it's as big as my head is. I, you would have thought I could have remembered that. Ohio knife lover. Yeah. What up, Ohio? So, does anybody want to see anything else while we're sitting here? Sausage mm -hmm. fingers, yes. Or yeah, but whatever. Good sausage. Delicious sausage. <laughs> Two sons are what? addicted. Yes, they are, Chad. What are the spider cos? <clears throat> well, they're what are the knives that this company named Spider Co makes? So. You guys want me to read down, down the list of the knife sale again? Since that's is that what he's asking for? Um, I mean, that might be a good idea since people have been in and out. Yeah. So the this started out as a knife sale. Um, let me. I'm going to remove real quick the ones that are not for sale. Uh, yes. So, he, uh, okay. You got to do it in a sexy voice. Sexy voice. Yeah. All right. Sissy Steve said so. Okay. Got it. I'm on it. All right. So here we go. I'm going to take it downtown. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh. All right. So we have. Yeah, do it pretty. <laughs> we have the, the giant mouse Clyde. <laughs> He's a stallion of a knife. <laughs> Anyway, uh, so we got Giant Mouse Clyde uh, going for $130. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, oh, yeah, they want you to post a, um, a list on Instagram. Okay. Yeah, I will. Uh, then we got the Abel Reels, uh, Rainbow Trout Native 5 and LC200N. And this is LC200N, everything, the back, uh, back lock. This is aluminum scale. Um, with hand anodizing by Abel's, which is super cool. No boob knives, Taz. Sorry. Yep, no boob knives. Uh, a trouser and, trout, David says. <laughs> okay, yeah, trouser <laughs> trout. There you go. Uh, and this is uh, $395. And then we've got the Spider Co. <laughs> Native Chief for a smooth $140. Uh, no, we have, no, they want an auctioneer. <laughs> oh my god, we have all three tenacious lightweight versions uh, <laughs> the serrated, the partially serrated, and the plain edge, each for $45. Oh my god, uh, you guys are sick. 
And then we have the Tucson TS160, which is a titanium and M390 slip joint, seven inches overall, three inch blade, four inch handle. That's $75. We have the uh, Benchmade uh, 560BK 1, or commonly called the Super Freak. Uh, that one's $175. We have the Knock Knives DG04 for 50 bucks, the QSP Pelican for $100, the S90V Delica for $100, the Endura in Damascus, uh, that one's the navy blue handle, uh, Damascus Endura for $90, uh, the Spyderco Insistent uh, for $35, and then uh, just in conversation, I also said I would sell these three. So we got the Ferrum Forge Archbishop, or Mini Archbishop, I should say. And this has been textured. So if you want one that is not slippery, uh, then um, I'll sell this one for, what I say, 80? I don't remember what I said. I don't know. I think I said 85 bucks or something on this thing. Uh, this one I'll sell for 35 This is the uh, Tucson TS-16. And this is the Tucson TS-108, uh, wherein my... Uh, yeah, sorry, that's our boxer drinking and breathing heavily because yeah. he's a fucking pig, I swear. <laughs> yeah, yeah, our boxer is, she snores and grunts and sounds like a pig. Yeah. It's pretty ridiculous. So... <laughs> Your panties dropping. No, you don't. Steve, you haven't heard panties dropping in your life. <laughs> um, <laughs> BJ, you missed a year going through yeah. the list about the shrimp noodle underwear girl. Oh, yeah. Well, he said, um, maybe the shrimp noodle underwear girl wants the trout. <laughs> yeah, maybe. You never know. Boxers are sweet, but she's just she's just one of a kind. I, I swear. Yeah. She 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 snorts like a bulldog. She just uh, and when she wants to hear something, she stops breathing herself. Yeah. So if she you can tell hear. her, Shh, Emma, listen, she'll stop breathing to listen. <laughs> nice. Is there a list with prices, Gregory? Yes. Once this video is over, there will be a list on the uh, on the in the description with all the prices, and I will also post this up on Instagram. So all that will be posted up there. All these knives. Yeah, it, it's nice if it'd be nice if the off switch lasted longer. <laughs> She's a good girl, but man, sometimes you're just like, God, stop breathing. <laughs> it's ridiculous. False on the pod panty dropping. Or lack of hearing panties drop, Steve. I I doubt it. I doubt it. Is he still talking about panties dropping? Oh, uh, he was. I just kind of going back because they come in like in chunks and yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ohio knife li uh, lover said, "Steve, pull your panties back up." <laughs> um. <clears throat> So if you guys want to see some other, uh, since Tucson's been a hot topic here, I do have another new Tucson knife. This one is, um, I honestly don't remember, <laughs> even remember the number. This one's a, a night morning design in 14C28N. Titanium handle. Ooh, ah. Pretty it's cool. It's all fun and games till I show up. To blade wearing boy shorts. Shorts, yeah. I dare you, bet. So, some cool Tucson stuff here. A little lanyard hole in the back. For your lanyard. And then, just since, since the conversation's going there, we'll get throw some Tucson boobies out here. Well, there's your boobies, bud. But they're not for sale. Yep. There is the Tucson Hooters. The old Wong design. 
with the Hooter hump. So, yeah. <laughs> Good times. Oh. Right on. Well, moose knuckle. No. Now we're talking moose knuckles? Yeah. Because Steve's going to wear um, short shorts to Blade Show. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so he's going to be. You're going to have to stuff those shorts. Yeah. Yeah. Is that a real production knife from Leong Ma? Leong. Which one, Charles? <laughs> he said that's amazingly tacky, but unique. <laughs> oh, the boob? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's the, uh, this is a uh, Wong. And it is the T twenty one girl uh, that they offer it in multiple different colors, but you can also get this exact same knife without the girl pattern. Uh, it's ex exact same handle shape, still has the hooter hump, and it's contoured instead of having the girl pattern on it. So it's actually a really nice knife. So TS one twenty one. It's a it's a good one. That's 12C. a woman, not a girl. 12C27. It's a it's a cool knife for sure. <laughs> yeah, I think the knife community is pretty pervy, Taz. We got naked girls on knives. You guys talking about butt stuff. <laughs> yeah. Super sissy running around with his moose knuckle hanging out. Yeah, yeah, Ohio, definitely. No doubt that was done by a CNC and those nipples were just ever so slightly drilled. There you go. That sounds you can, terrifying. You can see the depth on those nipples there. They're actually inverted nips. So they're not. Uh, <laughs> well, that's one of a kind. Yeah, they're not Braille nips. They're inverted. <clears throat> so, yep. Do you have a TS-69? Uh, uh, no. I do not. 34 Ds, I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's the name? Innies. Oh. Yes. He must be asking in the chat. Yeah, no doubt, Steve. When I was in high school and worked in a restaurant, it was... Uh, I, it, the language honestly was probably worse than construction and doing, you know, working, working out uh, in the field. It was, it, I don't know that it was worse. It was every bit as bad though, for sure. TS 79? 79. No. No. Nope. nope. We talking about big sugar. We don't got those. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know what, I don't, I can't even think of what models those would be. 69 and 79? Yeah. I don't know. I don't either. Um, because I know nothing about knives except for the ones I have. <laughs> Steve says Ohio hasn't touched a titty since he breastfed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Which spider code did you have for sale in S90V? It is the uh, uh, limited edition Delica. I'll show it to you. Here it is right here. So it is a... Mm, TS-69 looks like the kingfish. It is this little guy right here. And S90V, if this ever would... 70, yeah. There you go. And... This is a collector club version, so it's going to have number 16 on it. It's blue inside, black exterior, Delica, and S90V. Give a thank you for the Tucson review earlier today. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. I, en I enjoy Chad, it. that's a lot of Tucsons. He's closing in on 100 Tucsons. Chad is? Mm-hmm. Nice. That's a lot of Tucson. He's brother. got these ones that Big Sean is asking about yeah. or wanting. Mm -hmm. yeah. <clears throat> so, Chad, I you said you're from Kansas City. I actually go down to Kansas City 
like every other week. I work down there a bunch and uh, stay in hotels and stuff down there all the time. So one of these days we'll have to hook up and go out to dinner or something. The booby knife is called the girl. It's the TS-121. Yeah, yeah, I, I knew, I know, Chad, your microphone. And I <clears throat> Ohio says, give me some, I, I don't know. Joko? Oh, he's talking about the knives. It, Johnson County is what he's talking about. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. He lives I know in, nothing about down there. Yeah. Yep. I was, yeah, they're going to hook up Ohio. Absolutely. Right? Yep. Come give, give me some of that sugar. Oh, my God. Uh, I was just mm. in Johnson County, actually, yesterday. Actually, ate at the uh, Twin Peaks over there in uh, Johnson <laughs> County. You guys can tap sacks after dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think said that? <laughs> yeah, right. Oh. For Christ's sake. Yep, absolutely. And Shawnee, yeah. So, gonna order the TS 190 WTF. <laughs> Play yeah, I don't know, sticks. Charles. I uh, it's not a Leong Ma knife, Charles. Uh, it's a Tucson TS 121. Go on, go on Amazon and type in Tucson, spelled out T W O S U N. Just like here, here. There's the box. T W O S U N T S one two one. Type that in on Amazon, and. You will find these knives. If you don't find them on Amazon, go on uh, eBay and type in that exact same thing, and you'll find them. These are relatively cheap. You can find, uh, and they should be readily available. I don't remember exactly what they cost, but uh, but pretty cheap, and and they come in multiple different colors. And like I said, you can get it with or without the girl pattern. But riding on ceramic bearings. 12C27 blade steel. It's a it's a really nice knife. It's made extremely well. And uh yeah, really nice. <laughs> hey, the French guy is back. Bonjour. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Oh good God. Two girls, one cup knife. Oh god, you, no. Yeah. Don't. <laughs> That's a throwback for sure. That's a Oh, yeah, that's long ago. He said, yes, I am okay. Mm, yeah, the, TS, again? the TS-177 is sweet for sure. Uh, that's a uh, Tepe design. It's uh, Tepe and Night Morning. And it's a gorgeous knife. I really dig it. And it's uh, mm. really nice and thin behind the edge. Got really, really great uh, blade geometry. The only thing that I really dislike about it is that it's very ever so slightly got a little bit of recurve, uh, but but it's it I haven't put it on stones yet, but it'll be real easy to uh, sharpen the recurve out of it, so it's it's not a huge deal. And then uh, <laughs> the uh, speaking of slicey, uh, nice uh, blade grinds, the uh, King Fisher, this thing's. 13 thousandths behind the edge. It's pretty nice. Oh, Lord. That's too and much Tuc French for me. Tucson does a uh, wonderful job with the uh, 14C. So this thing's going to be a beast for sure. Je parle un peu <laughs> français. If Trent. I can remember high school. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, Charles, uh, go go on eBay. You should be able to find it. Like I said, they're they're all over the place. This this shouldn't be a hard knife to find at all. 
go e either eBay or Amazon, one or the other. Um, you should definitely be able to find this. And I, I guess for last ditch effort, if you can't get it on eBay or on Amazon, go to AliExpress. <laughs> but but you should be able to find it for sure. Yeah, the Kingfisher, Ohio. It's an awesome knife. Yeah, yeah, BJ. That that yeah. Just because it's super thin behind the edge, this thing is wicked sharp. <laughs> so uh, yeah. That sucks, Charles. Keep looking. Don't, Steve, I'm telling you. Not on Amazon. Huh. Uh, Ohio, this is a Tucson knife. This is designed by Mazwan Mokhtar, uh, who was in here earlier in the chat. Um, I don't know if he still is or not, but, uh, and this was produced by Tucson. And this is the first, ah. first one of their models that I've seen that does not have their branding on the blade. It's all inside the knife on the inside of the scales. So the maker's mark uh, and the, it says Tucson knife, says uh, has the Mazwan uh, logo, which looks like that right there. And, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, so definitely a beautiful knife. And this thing's got shed carbon fiber. I did a video uh, on it. So, Check out, check out the video, I actually uh, tore the knife apart and showed the internals and all that sort of stuff. And it's gorgeous. It's got some some really uh, fine micro milling on there. So it's gorge. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a good one for She's sure. She's a looker. I'll tell you what. Yeah, she is a looker. That's for sure. Oh, thank you. Charles, I don't know what to tell you, man. If you looked all those places and can't find it, um, maybe I know that uh, there's the the Chinese Christmas or something. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what they call it exactly, but they're a big holiday uh, deal <laughs> over there. And so they're all off for like two weeks or something. So you may just have to try it back in a couple of weeks. Uh, I don't know if they're sold out right at the moment, but but this is one that they continue to do over and over again. I've, I, this is the, this knife on for quite some time now. Um, and mm. if you can't find it there, uh, I, I'm, I'm not sure what to tell you. Ch I'm not a Chinese perv. New Year. There you go. Yeah, thanks, Gregory in Ohio. Jackson, uh, he's he's seeking the Tucson TS-121 girl. Uh, but like I said, uh, it should be pretty easy to find. There's a lot of them out there. Uh, so. DH gate? Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I've never looked on DH gate, but yeah, Charles, that might be an option. DH gate, if you want to go check that out. Uh, so hmm. right on. I don't know. Maybe there's just a run on boobies. <laughs> Cor coronavirus titty girl knife, huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, you are ready to pack it in here. Pack it up, pack it in. Let me begin. Yep. So whatever. Right on. Well, if anyone's got any, uh, anyone's got any she questions or anything. Kung flu. Yeah. No, <laughs> <laughs> not David's got yuck yucks, huh? Yeah. So. <laughs> <clears throat> Oh. Yeah. Anybody anybody uh has any uh questions, whatever, want to see something before we sign off here, let me know. But otherwise, 
thanks a lot for coming and hanging out with us on this Saturday night. I think this uh, confirms that my wife and I and everyone in this chat right now is super lame. We're sitting here on a Saturday night at home, dicking around like this. Uh, how is that lame? We're all here. We're all being ourselves. Well, well We don't yeah. have to put fake smiles on our faces and hanging out with people we don't fully like. Yeah, Gregory, the Benchmade Super Freak is in the sale for sure. So if you want it, uh, hit me up. Anybody that wants a knife, uh, <laughs> hit me up at this email address right here. Uh, and like I said, as soon as this uh, goes up, uh, as soon as we get off here, I'll post the list of knives in the description of this video with the prices and email me at this email address right here. And uh, this is not this is not my PayPal info. So do not send money to that address. Uh, just send me an email. Tell me which knife you'd like. And then I will uh, send you my PayPal info and whatnot. And I will ship the knives out on Monday. How much for it? So uh, uh, the Super Freak is uh, one seventy-five. So <laughs> that includes shipping and some stickers. David is not our um, go-between for knife sales, so do not believe him. <laughs> oh, yeah. <clears throat> one blowy. <laughs> oh God. So you fucking pervert. <laughs> So anyway, guys. A DM on the gram would work. Yeah, yeah, you can send me a DM on the gram too. OCD for EDC. You can slide into my DMs. Oh yep, no problem, God. Ohio. Uh, yeah, we're getting pretty close here. Uh, Big Red will be uh, coming up and doing his thing for SKL. So, uh, yeah, should be good. Mazwan, thanks a lot for coming. I appreciate it, man. Do good knife work. Love and such. <laughs> yeah. Love, love the Kingfisher and the Stargazer and the Stingray. They're all awesome. So great job, man. I really, uh, really digging the work you're doing for sure. So awesome, guys. Well, thanks a lot for coming and thanks a lot for hanging out with us. And uh, we will talk to you guys later. Yeah. Bye bye. Peace.